What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. We're about to watch a death battle. Hulk versus Doomsday. Um, the only thing I know about these two is that... I actually don't know much about these two because Hulk and Doomsday are not my favorite characters of DC and Marvel. Um, I like Iron Man better than Hulk on the Avengers, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, the only thing I know about Hulk and Doomsday is from uh, Cartoon Fight Club's Hulk vs. Doomsday episode, and Hulk won that, so... I don't know, considering it's Death Battle, I'm going to say Doomsday. I'm not going to say Animation Rewind's right about his episode. I'm not going to say Cartoon Fight Club is right because, again, I don't know much about Hulk and Doomsday. What they said is all I know, so maybe Death Battle will pull out something that I didn't know, and maybe Doomsday will win, but I'm going to guess Doomsday because it's Death Battle, and they like to say the opposite of other people for no reason. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start the episode now. Three, two, one, go. Go. Get into the episode. I have something very important to Hey, it looks like Mega Man. Game, Super Red Ray Gun, just launched Super Red Ray Gun? You mean Mega Man? With over 20 unique levels. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. It's Mega Man, guys. Come on. <laughs> from Phantom NK and Bubble Pipe Media for free. Click the link in the description after the video and get your copy. Super there. Rad Raygun! Pure unadulterated rage. Mm -hmm. Usually, in a stressful situation, you <laughs> it's want Francis. to this sort of it's boogie. in order to keep yourself focused. Unless you're a giant rampaging pile of muscles like these two. Rawr. Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. And Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. He's with yep. and Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ugh. Everything Within hurts. Each of us, off times, there dwells a mighty and raging fury. Mm -hmm. and this suits oh no yeah, also the election the happened. Trump won. Bruce so that's a thing. Because when Bruce gets angry, oh boy, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Dr. Yeah. Robert Bruce Banner. No one grown up with few friends, likes Hulk when he's angry. <laughs> popularity, he made up tenfold with his intellect. However, in spite of his gifts, it was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Partly because Bruce was so smart that his alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster <laughs> and expressed really? that to Bruce pretty thoroughly. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> How much distance do you think you got there, Wiz? Eh, nine, ten feet? Man, with an arm <laughs> like that, he could really go places. Like the nut house after he yeah. murdered his wife right in front of Bruce. Slapping a baby across the room. Understandably traumatized, Bruce coped by creating an imaginary friend to talk to. You know, I had an imaginary friend once. You did? What was his name? Dad. Oh. oh. Well, Bruce's friend served as an emotional outlet oh. all the way through his college Ouch. graduation. However, his advice to Bruce was oftentimes destructive. So when the U.S. military recruited Bruce to make weapons... Oh, I love those cheap, kind of cheap, fitting. poorly Bruce animated 60s superhero cartoons. Gamma They're great. Bomb, ...which would use gamma radiation to target enemy weapons and buildings without endangering human lives. At least, that's what Bruce was told. Surprise, surprise! Gamma radiation is actually pretty fucking harmful! And when it <laughs> came time to test the bomb and some dumb kid decided to play his harmonica right in the test zone, Bruce asked his assistant to stop the countdown and dashed off to save him. But turns out his assistant was a Russian spy who set off the bomb anyway. On that strange, <laughs> strange day, Bruce's imaginary friend became a real-life terror as he transformed into the, the Incredible Hulk. Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Sorry. <laughs> He's pulling a Brian Fury on those tanks. Really? Yes, apparently. Ever since, whenever he's angry, Bruce's body and mind morphs into that of the Hulks, granting him unmeasurable power. While he loses Bruce's brain power, the Hulk is ridiculously strong. He can leap great distances, survive Woo. the harshest environments, and most importantly, smash the crap out of everything with his bare fists. <laughs> he also knows a technique known as the Thunderclap, which creates a shockwave that can deafen foes, level forests, and push back explosions. As if he needed anything more than that, the Hulk has a healing factor that gives Wolverines a run for his money. You're healing. You should be dead. He's super strong nope, and not super dead. hard to kill. What's not to like? Hulk is so cool. Well, 
Sorry. I'm geeking out a bit. Bruce can't really control the Hulk. In fact, the Hulk is his own being, and they both hate each other, vying for dominance over Bruce's body. And yet, Bruce and the Hulk are often reminded how much they depend on each other for survival. Bruce figured mm -hmm. if he was stuck with his big green Goliath forever, he might as well try using it for good, eventually joining the Avengers, Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Hulk what? Hulk held up a 150 billion ton mountain, escaped Earth's gravitational pull with a single jump, and one time when a planet's tectonic plate started splitting apart, threatening to shatter the whole world, he just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. <laughs> the estimated average mass of a single lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion tons, and the Hulk pulled two of these together with nothing but his bare hands. And he's not just strong and tough, he's more than twice as fast as a fighter jet, which puts him over Mach 5 speeds at least, and he can always go faster I've... if he's pissed off enough. Yeah, this is because I, the I think that, I think he can go a lot faster than that. Mach anger. five. The angrier he gets, the more powerful he becomes. In theory, this means his maximum level of strength is. Ah! And when he taps into that immeasurable rage to the fullest, he truly lives up to his name of World Breaker. Bigger, mm -hmm. stronger, and oozing with gamma radiation. I think the it's a given that Hulk is a planet is buster. So powerful, with a single stump, he created earthquakes felt hundreds of miles away. In his battle with Sentry, basically Marvel Superman, they almost destroyed New York. And when battling another World Breaker Hulk, a single collision between them obliterated an entire planet. Even the mutant Darwin's power, which specifically adapts to counter any enemy, decided that the best defense mm -hmm. against the Hulk was to be somewhere else. <laughs> Hell! Who could even stand up to this madness? Not many, obviously. Typically, Bruce does his best to contain and limit the Hulk's power. In fact, World Breaker Hulk is a result of Bruce relinquishing that control entirely. In terms of combat, usually only cosmic beings like Silver Surfer or Zeus have the might to challenge the Hulk. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that one time Zeus hit him so hard it burned out his healing factor. But even God mm -hmm. sometimes have yep, to learn the hard Yep, that could happen way. sometimes. I do know about that. Like, he has a really good Breaker healing Hulk. factor, but some people can oh, like God, over creature. overpower it. Not be bullied by that. <laughs> Loki. Puny God. <laughs> what if all you had ever known? All right, it's doomsday. Violence and pain. This life is reality for doomsday. YouTube dooms comments, Do doomsday. Yeah, Doom doomsday guy. Thousands <laughs> of years ago, on an uninhabitable prehistoric. Way to insult the comics, doomsday. Comics comments. No doomsday. <laughs> I mean, not doomsday yep. boomstick. Another one of those. Oh my gosh. Way to insult the comments, See, doomsday. Was a harsh wasteland filled with nothing but sharp Way to insult the comments, incredible. boomstick. That's what I was trying to say. Something that could live through that. They could survive just about anywhere. To realize this theory, <clears throat> Bertrand acquired an infant from somewhere and, through a rapidly accelerated evolution process, attempted to transform him into his dream creation. <laughs> oh, don't try to dance around it, Wiz! Bertrand put that little sucker into a baby cannon, blasted him into the wild to get murdered by any number of things, sucked up what was left of him with a vacuum cleaner, and just cloned a new one out of the mess to do it all over again. <laughs> Yeah, the idea being each new clone would be stronger than the one mm -hmm. before, thus covering millions of years of evolution in just a few decades. That doesn't sound like science. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so after 30 straight years of baby murder, one of the clones finally survived the test. Amazed by his own success, Bertrand named this baby the ultimate. The ultimate baby. But to the Rawr. rest of the universe, he was Ultra baby. Day. He will destroy you all. You all shall feel the wrath of his power. The Ultra baby. Patenting my baby cannon was a good idea. Successful as Bertrand's experiment was, it was ultimate baby. a good idea. Turns out, while Doomsday usually appears to be a mindless beast, he remembered every single time Bertrand had him killed. Oh, As a result, that's not Doomsday good. had been unintentionally programmed at a genetic level to hate everything that lives. Bummer. Needless to say, Bertrand was pretty screwed. Because even with 30 <laughs> years of development, Bertrand had never quite figured out what to do if his experiment actually worked. 
because Bertrand is the worst. I mean, he <laughs> did do what he set out to do. He made an eight foot ten monster that doesn't need to eat, breathe, or have internal organs to live. It just kills and kills and, and kills, kills and kills and kills and kills. And kills. He possesses enormous strength, incredible durability, and poisonous spikes which can extend. But due to Bertrand's experiments, Doomsday's oh, poisonous power spikes. Of all is his ability yeah. to adapt to his opponent's it's poison. After that could help. Sweet revenge, Doomsday stowed away on a supply ship and ravaged dozens of planets until he finally found himself on Earth. On that day, Doomsday <coughs> did the unthinkable. I'm sorry. On that day, Excuse me. Doomsday killed Superman. Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. He actually put him into a super sleep. After several days, he kind of woke up more powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know who is. At least Soups took Doomsday <laughs> down with him. Or maybe not. Turns out, whenever Doomsday dies, he just comes back to life, forever immune to whatever killed him in the first place. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be me the same way twice. He's been mm. punched to death by Superman. Soon he's gonna run out of ways to beat him. The energy, brutally ripped in half, incinerated by Imperiax, and just curb stomped by a Kryptonian horde. Practically invulnerable at this point, Doomsday is taken on Darkseid, tanking his Omega Beams and beating him to near death. He single-handedly defeated most of the Justice League and took on an energy attack that wiped out a fifth of a planet. He's punched through the Phantom Zone, battled super beings called Gogs for a century, and even broken Wonder Woman's arms. Arms strong enough to help pull the Earth. And during his rematch with the Man of Steel, after witnessing Doomsday survive an explosion equivalent to one million nukes, Superman realized that wow. the only way to stop him was to send him to the end of time. At his most powerful, Doomsday's mere presence can boil the ocean and disintegrate buildings. A casual stroll across Africa made wildebeest an endangered species just by walking around. But what he's got in strength, he really lacks in brains. Not that he's dumb, he just literally lacks a brain. More oh, often than not, yeah. Doomsday is a little more <laughs> than a he's, one track mind uh, He's an machine. ultimate baby. This makes his intentions predictable, and a clever opponent could use this to, say, lead him into a trap. And yeah. Should that foe come up with a new way to hurt Doomsday, he could be killed. Still, Superman could do that. Pretty goddamn hard to do. <laughs> ow. Ow. That really looks painful, actually. Like, ow. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, Wiz oh, come on. stop talking about this thing, so he wants to tell you about You did your ad earlier before the episode. Come on, guys. As a man of science, I analyze everything from the color I drive to the razor <laughs> my face. Sure. I only use a razor I've scientifically proven to be of both quality and value. I use Harry's. Thanks to their <laughs> factory in Germany, Harry's produces quality razors at half the price. Just two dollars a blade. Harry's sleek five-blade razor offers a softer flex hinge, trimmer blade, textured handle for control, and Whoa. a lubricating strip to help soothe the skin. Whoa! Like, you'll want to try it for yourself. Harry's is so confident in their razor, they'll send you a trial set absolutely free when you subscribe. Just pay for Hooray, razors! And as a viewer of Death Battle, you can get a free bottle of post-shave balm, which soothes and relieves skin after shaving and helps yes. with redness. Yes, Death Battle, the people who do versus so debates of fictional characters Harry's fighting each other, is advertising an offer in which you can get free shaving cream. Just remember, use the code Death Battle at checkout. But right now, it's How random is that? Alright guys, you did your Rad Ray guy, Ray dude, Ray man, whatever. Rad Ray man, Rad, I don't even remember what it was called. But you, you did the Rad Ray gun guy earlier, so. What's with all the colored people? I mean, more Tekken music! Are you kidding me? Oh, now the Tekken music's gone. They put it for like a second there. <laughs> I like that they keep using techno music. I feel like they might mess up the lore big time if they try to use a Tekken character though, so I really hope they don't. <laughs> oh, shockwaves! 
Come on, Doomsday. I'm rooting for you. Through the building. Here comes the car. He threw the bus already. <laughs> oh, police car. No, not the police. Blue lives matter. <laughs> He's using them as boxy gloves. That's great. That's awesome. Although I'm pretty sure his fists are more effective than cars. Ah, me crush you. Arr. This is great. Ow, his hands. Hope he didn't break his fingers. Not over yet. Ew, oh, that looks gross. <laughs> Break buildings good, but hold on. Break walls. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the angry stomp and arm wave. The, rah, rah, rah. This is like watching two children fight in a city of cardboard. Oh, 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 there's the poison. There's the poison. <clears throat> oh, I think, yep, this, I think this is where Hulk loses. This is just, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 nasty. Oh, you can see his brain stem and everything. That was beautiful. With the Hulk's immeasurable power and Tuesday's immortality, oof. Felt like a fight between an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Hulk may have had the advantage in raw strength, at least at his oh. potential, but Doomsday could certainly hold his ground. His victories against the likes of Superman and Darkseid prove he can take a hit from someone strong mm -hmm. enough to break planets. And by experience, Doomsday had the speed advantage. He regularly fights foes with light speed capabilities, while that kind of speed is an extreme rarity in the Marvel Universe. In fact, the only foe that fast who Hulk's ever seemed to keep pace with in a one-on-one -on -one match was Sentry, and that was when he was at his most powerful stage, Worldbreaker Hulk. So overall, Hulk had strength and Doomsday had speed, <coughs> but neither completely outclassed the other. At first glance, this one looked like it could go either way. Which means the devil's in the very tiny details. Yep. So why couldn't the Hulk's infinite strength just keep rising and eventually overwhelm Doomsday? Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Yeah, that's what I was about to... I, it wouldn't get, get off my tongue. I was like, uh, because uh, his healing factor is not that good, right? Century, that's what I was thinking. Naturally, Doomsday and also Doomsday has the poison spikes. Started wearing that healing factor down. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, but he's still technically human, and his power directly correlates with his anger. A human being's anger stems from an increase in hormones and adrenaline <coughs> in the body. However, mm -hmm. the brain can only produce these chemicals at such a rate for a limited time, eventually giving up and turning apathetic. Therefore, Hulk's limitless power could never have existed without his healing factor. It's the key. It allowed his body to continue producing hormones and adrenaline far beyond the norm, theoretically an endless yep. supply, <laughs> thus increasing his I was just about to say, um, I'm pretty sure Hulk's genetics so aren't normal anymore. His 
Shrinking Factor meant the Hulk could no longer maintain his increasing rage and Hulk form. And if you're still skeptical, <coughs> that's why there's a bunch of times in comics <coughs> when a huge impact forced the Hulk to turn back into Bruce Banner, including yep. that battle between Worldbreaker Hulk and Sentry. With his healing power beaten down, he literally couldn't keep himself angry enough to stay in Hulk mode. I love science, but there's still one more thing. Thanks to his battles with Superman and other Kryptonians, Doomsday has evolved to a point where it's basically impossible to kill him with brute force alone. So Hulk yep, Superman had to fly him to the end of time. Enough to punch harder than Doomsday ever felt. Precisely. Here's the proof. Superman and Doomsday eventually had a rematch, in which Superman was much more powerful than their first battle. As we discussed before, Superman's power is also potentially limitless by way of continually absorbing solar energy. And at this point in his story, he <coughs> had to discover that. But try as he might, despite his increased power, Supes couldn't kill Doomsday with blunt force a second time. Ultimately, Doomsday's immunity to being ripped, impaled, incinerated, blasted with energy, and being beaten by blunt force from both focused and multiple sources means Hulk just didn't have the options available to take Doomsday out before his healing factor was overtaxed. On this day, Hulk met his doom. Doomsday. Yeah. It was no Doomsday for Hulk. Doomsday. Ha, I came up with a much better pun than you, Boots Boomstick. Yeah. Next time, who is it? Zorro! Well, no suspense, just here hey he guys, is. I'm Play Wiz, this is Chatty Plays Boomstick, and next uh, up, Zorro from One Piece. Yes, we know. Follow your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, to find out the next fighters. Whatever. I wonder who's gonna fight Zorro. Maybe that guy from the One Minute Melee, but eh, who knows.